As Buddha once said, learn this from water. Loud splashes the brook, but the ocean's depth are calm. In the whirlwind of life's challenges, where stress seems to be an inevitable companion, Buddhism offers a sanctuary of tranquility. Calm is not just a state of being, it's a source of power. Imagine facing a storm, not with panic, but with the serene confidence of a mountain. That's the essence of calmness in Buddhism. In moments of high tension, calmness is the anchor that keeps our rationality afloat, preventing us from being swept away by impulsive reactions. It allows us to approach problems with clarity and compassion, both for ourselves and others. In this video, we will explore the profound teachings that can transform chaos into peace. We'll delve into real-life tough situations, from the pressures of work to the complexities of relationships, and reveal how Buddhist principles guide us to maintain our composure. By embracing these lessons, you'll discover why keeping calm is not just important, but essential. It's the key to unlocking a more mindful, compassionate, and resilient life. Join us as we journey through these transformative teachings and uncover the power of calmness. 1. In the teachings of Buddhism, the concept of control, or rather, the relinquishment of it, is a fundamental principle. The first lesson to keep calm is to embrace what you can control. This teaching encourages us to recognize the limits of our influence and to focus on what lies within our power, while accepting what does not. The desire to control every aspect of our lives is a natural human inclination, but it often leads to frustration and stress. Buddhism teaches that this craving for control stems from a deep-seated fear of uncertainty and change. However, life is inherently unpredictable and impermanent, and many things are beyond our control. By accepting this truth, we can reduce our suffering and find peace. The practice of mindfulness is key to embracing what we can control. It allows us to live in the present moment, fully aware and engaged with our current actions and thoughts, without being overwhelmed by the past or anxious about the future. Mindfulness helps us discern between what we can change and what we must let go. Moreover, Buddhism emphasizes the importance of intention in our actions. While we cannot control the outcome of every situation, we can control our intentions and efforts. By acting with kindness, compassion, and wisdom, we align ourselves with Buddhist virtues and create positive karma. Ultimately, embracing what we can control leads to a sense of inner calm. It teaches us to surrender to the flow of life, trusting that we are equipped to handle whatever comes our way. This surrender is not a sign of weakness, but a recognition of the true nature of existence. It is a powerful act of humility and strength that allows us to remain calm amidst life's storms. By applying this lesson, we learn to conserve our energy for what truly matters, leading to a more serene and fulfilling life. This is the essence of the first lesson from Buddhism on keeping calm. To understand the limits of our control, and to act with intention and mindfulness within those boundaries. 2. The second lesson from Buddhism on maintaining calm is practice mindfulness. Mindfulness, in the Buddhist tradition, is more than just paying attention. It's about cultivating a pure awareness that is free from judgments, concepts, and self-reference. It's a disciplined practice that involves being fully present in the moment, observing our thoughts, feelings, and sensations without attachment or aversion. Mindfulness is rooted in the Buddha's teachings, particularly the Satipatthana Sutta, which provides detailed instructions on how to establish mindfulness through four frames of reference, the body, feelings, mind, and mental qualities. By focusing on these areas, we can develop a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the world. When we practice mindfulness, we begin to see the transient nature of our experiences. We learn to observe our thoughts and emotions as they arise and pass away, without getting entangled in them. This observation leads to insight, which in turn fosters a sense of peace and equanimity. We become less reactive to the ups and downs of life, and more responsive in a thoughtful, considered way. Moreover, mindfulness is closely linked to the Buddhist concept of unbinding or nirvana. It's a state where we let go of the mental attachments that cause suffering, 
As we practice mindfulness, we gradually unbind ourselves from these attachments, reaching a state of calm and liberation. In practical terms, mindfulness can be applied in any situation to maintain calm. Whether it's a stressful day at work, a difficult conversation, or an unexpected setback, mindfulness allows us to approach these challenges with a clear and composed mind. It helps us to respond rather than react, to choose kindness over anger and wisdom over ignorance. By integrating mindfulness into our daily lives, we harness the power of calm. It becomes a tool for navigating life's complexities with grace and composure, embodying the very essence of Buddhist teachings on serenity and strength. 3. The third lesson from Buddhism on maintaining calm is acceptance as a transformative force. Acceptance, in the context of Buddhism, is not about passive resignation but about recognizing and embracing the reality of the present moment without resistance. It's a powerful practice that allows us to engage with life more fully, with an open heart and mind. Buddhist teachings emphasize that much of our suffering arises from wanting things to be different from how they are, whether it's clinging to past joys or resisting unpleasant current realities, this struggle against the inevitable flow of life causes distress. Acceptance invites us to let go of these battles, to stop trying to bend the world to our will, and instead to flow with it. This doesn't mean we become indifferent or stop striving for improvement. Rather, acceptance in Buddhism is about acknowledging the truth of the moment, including our own limitations and the impermanence of all things. From this place of acceptance, we can make wiser choices and take more effective action. For example, when faced with a difficult situation, acceptance allows us to see it clearly without the cloud of denial or anger. This clarity can lead to a calm mind, which is better equipped to find solutions. Acceptance also fosters compassion, both for ourselves and others, as we recognize that everyone is subject to the same universal truths of change and uncertainty. In practice, acceptance often begins with mindfulness, paying attention to our thoughts, feelings, and sensations as they are. It involves a gentle, non-judgmental awareness that acknowledges and allows whatever is happening. This can be particularly transformative in tough situations where our instinct might be to fight or flee. Ultimately, acceptance is a gateway to inner peace. By embracing the present, we free ourselves from the turmoil of what-ifs and if-on lies. We learn to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and equanimity, finding calm in the midst of chaos. This is the profound lesson of acceptance taught by Buddhism. It is not the absence of storm, but the peace within it. 4. The fourth lesson from Buddhism on maintaining calm is understanding impermanence. Anicca. Impermanence is a core concept in Buddhism that teaches all phenomena, including our bodies, thoughts, and the world around us, are in a constant state of flux. Nothing is static. Everything is subject to change, decay, and ultimately, cessation. This understanding of impermanence is not meant to evoke fear or sadness, but rather to instill a sense of peace and freedom. When we grasp the impermanent nature of things, we begin to let go of our attachments and aversions. We stop clinging to the idea that things should remain the same, which is often the source of our suffering. In practical terms, recognizing impermanence helps us stay calm in the face of life's inevitable changes. Whether it's the loss of a job, the end of a relationship or the natural aging process, understanding that these are all part of the impermanent nature of existence allows us to approach such events with equanimity and grace. Moreover, the realization of impermanence encourages us to appreciate the present moment. Knowing that nothing lasts forever, we learn to cherish our experiences and relationships more deeply. We become more present, attentive, and grateful for the fleeting moments of joy and connection. Buddhism also teaches that impermanence is not just a theory to be understood intellectually, but a truth to be experienced directly through mindfulness and meditation. As we practice, we witness the arising and passing of sensations, thoughts, and emotions firsthand. This experiential understanding deepens our acceptance of change and strengthens our ability to remain calm amidst the ebb and flow of life. 
Ultimately, understanding impermanence is liberating. It frees us from the unrealistic expectation that things should be permanent and allows us to live with a lighter touch. By embracing the transient nature of all things, we cultivate a calm mind that can adapt to change with resilience and openness. This is the profound wisdom of Anika, offering a path to inner tranquility and strength. 5. The fifth lesson from Buddhism on maintaining calm is cultivating resilience. Resilience is the ability to recover from difficulties, adapt to change, and maintain a sense of stability in the face of life's challenges. In Buddhism, resilience is often cultivated through practices that enhance mindfulness, compassion, and understanding of the nature of reality. Buddhist teachings suggest that resilience is not an innate trait but a skill that can be developed. It involves recognizing that suffering is a part of life and learning to respond to it with equanimity. This does not mean becoming indifferent to pain or hardship, but rather developing the strength to confront and transform them. One way Buddhism teaches us to cultivate resilience is through the practice of meditation. Meditation helps to calm the mind, allowing us to see our experiences more clearly. It provides a space to observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment, which can lead to greater emotional regulation and a reduction in stress. Another aspect of cultivating resilience is understanding the principle of impermanence. Recognizing that all things change can help us to let go of our attachment to specific outcomes and be more flexible in the face of adversity. This flexibility is key to resilience as it allows us to adapt and find new ways to move forward. Furthermore, Buddhism encourages the cultivation of positive relationships and community support. Being part of a community can provide a sense of belonging and shared strength, which are essential for resilience. Compassion for oneself and others also plays a crucial role, as it fosters a supportive environment where healing and growth can occur. In essence, cultivating resilience in Buddhism is about developing a deep understanding of the nature of life and our own minds. It's about building a foundation of practices that support our ability to bounce back from life's inevitable ups and downs. By embracing these teachings, we can foster a calm and resilient spirit that can weather any storm. 6. The sixth lesson from Buddhism on maintaining calm is choosing your response wisely. This teaching is about the conscious management of our thoughts and reactions, recognizing that while we may not have control over every situation, we do have a choice in how we respond. Buddhism teaches that our thoughts and actions are interconnected, and the quality of our thoughts often dictates the quality of our actions. The Vitakasanthana Sutta, for example, outlines a discipline for the more conscious management of our thinking, suggesting that we can influence our thinking patterns and cultivate minds that are more inclined towards wisdom and liberation. Choosing your response wisely means being mindful of the intention behind your thoughts and actions. Before speaking or acting, the Buddha advised considering whether what we're about to say or do is factual, helpful, spoken with kindness, and goodwill endearing and timely. This reflective process helps ensure that our responses contribute positively to our well-being and that of others. In practice, this lesson encourages us to pause and reflect when faced with a challenging situation. Instead of reacting impulsively, we take a moment to consider the most skillful and compassionate way to respond. This might mean choosing to remain silent instead of saying something hurtful, or it might involve expressing ourselves in a way that is constructive rather than destructive. By choosing our responses wisely, we maintain a sense of calm and control over our inner world, regardless of external circumstances. This empowers us to navigate life's difficulties with grace and to foster more harmonious relationships with those around us. It's a reminder that our power lies not in controlling the uncontrollable, but in mastering our own mind and reactions. This is the essence of Buddhist wisdom on maintaining calm. The realization that peace comes from within, and it is within our power to cultivate it through wise choices. 7. The seventh lesson from Buddhism on maintaining calm is limiting excessive desires. Buddhism recognizes desire as a natural part of the human experience, but also as a potential source of suffering. 
The teaching advises us to understand and manage our desires to maintain inner peace and contentment. Excessive desires often lead to a cycle of craving and attachment, which in turn can cause a perpetual state of dissatisfaction. The Buddha taught that by recognizing the impermanent nature of material possessions and sensory pleasures, we can reduce our attachment to them. This doesn't mean we should live without any desires at all. Rather, it's about finding a balance and focusing on desires that lead to long-term well-being and happiness. Mindfulness and meditation are key practices in Buddhism for examining our desires. Through these practices, we can become more aware of the nature of our cravings and learn to distinguish between wholesome desires that contribute to our growth and unwholesome ones that lead to suffering. Furthermore, Buddhism encourages the development of contentment and gratitude for what we have, rather than constantly seeking more. This shift in perspective helps to limit excessive desires and fosters a sense of abundance and generosity. When we appreciate the present moment and the resources we already possess, we're less likely to be driven by insatiable wants. In essence, limiting excessive desires is not about suppression or denial, but about understanding the true source of happiness. It's about cultivating a mind that finds joy in simplicity and serenity, rather than in the relentless pursuit of more. By embracing this lesson, we can navigate life with a calm and satisfied heart, freed from the turmoil of uncontrolled desires. This is the profound teaching of Buddhism on the power of restraint and the peace that comes with it. 8. The eighth lesson from Buddhism on maintaining calm is virtue in daily acts. Virtue, or ethical conduct, is a cornerstone of Buddhist practice and is seen as essential for personal development and the attainment of enlightenment. In Buddhism, virtue is not just about following a set of rules. It's about cultivating a state of mind that naturally leads to ethical behavior. This involves developing qualities such as generosity, kindness, and compassion, and applying them in everyday life. By acting virtuously, we create positive karma, which contributes to our own happiness and the well-being of others. The practice of virtue in daily acts is also about mindfulness, being aware of our actions, words, and thoughts, and ensuring they align with our ethical values. It's about noticing when negative emotions like anger or jealousy arise and choosing not to act on them. Instead, we strive to act with intention, guided by the principles of loving-kindness and compassion. Moreover, virtue in Buddhism is closely linked to the concept of interdependence. Recognizing that all beings are connected, we understand that our actions have a ripple effect, influencing not just our own lives, but the lives of others as well. Therefore, virtuous acts are not only beneficial for our personal growth, but also contribute to the harmony and happiness of the broader community. In essence, virtue in daily acts is about making ethical choices that reflect our deepest values. It's about living in a way that is harmonious with the teachings of Buddhism and that fosters a sense of calm and stability within ourselves and in our interactions with the world. By embodying virtue in our daily lives, we navigate the complexities of existence with grace and contribute to a more peaceful and compassionate world. 9. The ninth lesson from Buddhism on maintaining calm is the value of gratitude. Gratitude in Buddhism is more than just a polite thank you. It's a profound appreciation for the interconnectedness of all life and the blessings that flow within it. Gratitude is seen as a way to open the heart, to transform the mind, and to shift one's focus from what is lacking to the abundance that exists. It's a recognition that even the smallest things in life are gifts to be cherished. This perspective fosters a sense of contentment and joy, which are essential for maintaining calm in the face of life's challenges. Buddhist teachings encourage us to cultivate gratitude not only for the good things, but also for the difficulties we encounter. Challenges are viewed as opportunities for growth and learning. By being grateful for these experiences, we can develop resilience and wisdom. Moreover, gratitude is closely linked to other Buddhist practices, such as generosity and compassion. When we feel grateful, we are more likely to act with kindness and to give selflessly. This creates a positive cycle of giving and receiving that benefits ourselves and others. In daily life, 
Practicing gratitude can be as simple as taking a moment each day to reflect on the things we're thankful for. This could include our health, the support of friends and family, or the beauty of nature. By making gratitude a central part of our spiritual practice, we can maintain a calm and balanced mind, even amidst the turbulence of the world. In essence, the value of gratitude in Buddhism is about recognizing the preciousness of each moment and the interconnectedness of all beings. It's about living with an open heart and a calm mind, fully engaged with the present and appreciative of the myriad gifts life offers. This deep sense of gratitude is a powerful tool for cultivating peace and serenity within and around us. 10. The tenth lesson from Buddhism on maintaining calm is continuous learning and growth. This principle emphasizes the importance of lifelong learning as a path to personal transformation and spiritual development. Buddhism views life as a journey of continuous learning, where each experience offers an opportunity for growth. The teachings encourage us to approach life with curiosity and an open mind, ready to learn from both the pleasant and the challenging. This mindset helps us to adapt to change, overcome obstacles, and evolve in our understanding of the Dharma and ourselves. Continuous learning in Buddhism is not just about acquiring knowledge, but also about deepening wisdom and compassion. It involves reflecting on our experiences, integrating the lessons learned, and applying them to our lives. This process of reflection and integration is key to personal growth and helps us to maintain calm in the face of life's uncertainties. Moreover, the Buddhist path of learning is not self-centered. It's about learning for the benefit of all beings. The ideal of the Bodhisattva, one who seeks enlightenment for the sake of others, embodies this spirit of altruistic learning. By dedicating ourselves to the welfare of others, we find a deeper sense of purpose and fulfillment. In practice, continuous learning can take many forms, from formal study and meditation to the simple act of mindful living. It's about being present in each moment, willing to learn from every person we meet and every situation we encounter. This openness to learning keeps our minds flexible and our hearts warm, allowing us to remain calm and centered no matter what life brings. In essence, continuous learning and growth are about embracing the ever-changing nature of existence and our own potential for transformation. It's about seeing life as a rich tapestry of lessons that, when woven together, reveal the path to enlightenment. By committing to this path of lifelong learning, we cultivate a calm and resilient spirit that is capable of facing any challenge with wisdom and grace. In conclusion, the Ten Lessons from Buddhism offer a profound blueprint for cultivating calm in the chaos of life. They teach us to embrace change, act with intention, and find strength in serenity. By integrating these teachings into our daily lives, we unlock the power of calm, transforming our challenges into opportunities for growth and enlightenment. These lessons are not just philosophies but practical steps towards a peaceful existence, guiding us to live with mindfulness, compassion, and wisdom. Let us carry these lessons forward, nurturing a tranquil spirit and a resilient heart in our journey through life. Ready to embrace tranquility? Subscribe to our channel for more insights into Buddhism and join a community dedicated to finding peace in every breath. Click the bell icon to stay updated on our journey to calmness.